And now a news update on the NCW Life Channel. Good afternoon. Two children were killed and a third was critically injured in a collision this morning in Douglas County. It happened shortly after 8 a.m. on State Route 28 in the Rock Island area. State Trooper Brian Moore says the crash involved five passenger cars and a big rig. We do have two small children that have passed away out of this collision. Uh, we have one that is in critical condition that's been transported to Central Washington Hospital. A $10,000 reward is pumping new life into a cold case involving two Moses Lake area men who were killed in 2008 in two separate pipe bomb explosions. The reward has been put up by the family of 69-year-old William Walker, who died when a homemade bomb hidden in a battery charger exploded in his shop. The second victim, 53-year-old Javier Adami, was killed the next day when a police scanner, also outfitted with a bomb, exploded when he plugged it in. Grant County Sheriff's detectives suspect the two deaths may be related. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 800-222-8477. 25 young women from the Wenatchee and Eastmont School Districts will compete for a place in the 2017 Washington State Apple Blossom Royal Court. The candidates 17 from Wenatchee and 8 from Eastmont will be honored at a reception open to the public on Tuesday, January 10th at the Performing Arts Center. To make it into the top 10, the candidates will give speeches on Wednesday, January 11th in front of their peers. Votes from a panel of out-of-town judges will count as 50% of their total score with the other 50% coming from the student body. The top 10 candidates will be announced at 6 p.m. January 11th at the Performing Arts Center. All events are free and open to the public. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, like us on Facebook or visit our website at ncwlife.com.